Demonstrative pronouns, chapter 13. There are two types of demonstrative pronouns. There are near demonstratives and far demonstratives, and we'll be looking at those separately. The near demonstrative pronoun, the singular this, the plural these in English, in Greek, the masculine nominative singular is hutas this, and the plural is hutoi these. The near demonstrative indicates physical or logical closeness. That is opposed to the far demonstrative, which indicates distance. So the near demonstrative is this or these, and the far demonstrative is that or those. The demonstrative can function either as a pronoun, or a demonstrative pronoun, we would have guessed that, or as an adjective. As a pronoun, this is the sun. We have an equivalence here, here. This is the sun. And it's often reduced to an idea of he is the sun. But we're being very specific. Which one? This. This one is the sun. In Greek, we have hutas estin hachuias. Hutas, this, estin, is, hachuias, the sun, is a predicate nominative and agrees in case, number, and gender with hutas. The plural of this, these, are the sons, is hutoi esin hoi huioi. The plural of this is these. The adjective is in a predicative position. Now, I know we've been through this with the adjectives in terms of attributive and predicative. One way to think about it is, does whatever we call the adjective have a definite article in front of it? If it doesn't, and the noun does, it's in the predicative position. So, an adjective of a near demonstrative is this sun. Which sun? This sun. It defines the sun. And we have in two forms, ha huyas hutas, right? There's no definite article before hutas, but there is before the noun or hutas ha huyas, this sun. And then, of course, these sons would be hoi huyoi hutoi, or hutoi hoi huyoi. The near demonstrative pronoun hutas is in a 2-1-2 declension. And although it's a pronoun, the easiest way to think of these is as of adjectives in the 212 declension. And all you have to then do is learn what the nominative singular is of that near demonstrative, and you know how it's going to break down in all of the other cases. So there are only a couple of things that we need to add to our knowledge, and for hutas, like the definite article, remember the definite article, you had a choice. The definite article could begin like ha, he, the nominative singular for the masculine and the feminine with a rough breathing, everything else began with a tau. And this is going to be the same it is in the near demonstrative. So we have rough breathing in hutas, rough breathing haute singular, and in the plural we have who toy, how toy. Note in the feminine how the alpha runs down the feminine. So in the second declension, the masculine and the neuter, we get who, we get omicron, upsilon in the first syllable. The feminine, we almost always get alpha, upsilon in the first syllable. The second thing you need to know is, and this is merely something that has to do with pronunciation and spelling, but it has nothing to do with the endings. As I said, these are standard 212 
declensions, they don't change. What does change, however, and it only happens in three instances, what we'll go through, is that the first vowel of the word is changed, is affected by the vowel in the second syllable. So, let's look at one. Two-tone, genitive plural, always has an ending of omega nu, right? We always know that. This omega, in this one case, in the feminine, affects the first syllable. And you'll see what you expect is uh, a tau alpha upsilon, because that's what it's been all the way down the feminine. And we get tau omicron upsilon. So it looks just like the masculine and neuter form. So the O form, the omega in the second syllable, has affected the first syllable. So we get equal O's. We get omega and we get an omicron in the first the only other time it happens is in the nominative and accusative plural. Remember, they're always the same, and the ending is always alpha. So, this is the only form that ends in an alpha, right, in the near demonstrative 212. So, it affects the first syllable, and what we expect, we had right above it two Ta, this is the second declension. We expect tu ta, and instead we get tau ta. So, in these three instances, the genitive plural feminine, we get tu tone rather than tau tone, and in the neuter plural nominative and accusative, we get tau ta instead of tu ta. This is to note. I have to tell you, as you're going along in this one, it, you're just going to get so used to it that you're not even going to notice it. Near demonstrative sentences. What I've done is, since we're just really new at the pronouns, I put the pronouns, the personal pronouns, in green and the near, near demonstratives in blue, just so they kind of stick out. So we have hutas estin hachuyas, which we've looked at before already. Hutas is this, is, and it, the uh, uh, nominative agrees with it in case, number, and gender, because we have this verb, amy, estin, which is an equal sign, right? So we get this or he is the son. How te estin, he me termu. You'll see rough breathing over how te, if this were smooth breathing, it would be she, how te, but this is rough breathing, so it is how te is this, and the idea is this woman. So we get this is mu, and that is a personal pronoun at the end of it, mu, think of mu as a cow, a cow ownership, mu. This is my mother. Hutoye sin hoi huioi mu. Hutoi is plural, right? And so it's going to agree with huioi, which is plural. So we get these are my children. Haute edoken moi tauta. She gave, edoken is gave, we'll get to that later. Tauta, these, or the idea since it's a neuter, these things, she gave these things to me, or she gave me these things. He me ter erokan moi, tein oikian tautein. The mother gave to me again, right, the dative that Yoda tells us is the dative, moi, the house, and tautain here is in the predicative position, right? If this were an adjective, we would say, oh, we need an is here. But this is a demonstrative pronoun, so it is functioning as an adjective. So we get, the mother gave me this house. 
The four demonstratives, that, those, and ekenos, ekenoi, as opposed to the near demonstratives, which indicated closeness, four demonstratives indicate distance. So, again, it is, this book is mine, that book is yours. That is the far demonstrative. This is the near demonstrative. And once again, it functions as a pronoun or an adjective, identical, identical. You just have to, as I said, learn these as adjectives. And when you do, you're just going to remember that, oh, this is this, this one is that. Pronoun, that is the sun. Ekenas as ten haquias. This is just the beginning as a cane. Everything else is the same. Those, or they are the sons, or a cane hoi, a sin hoi huioi. And the adjective in the predicative position, just like the near demonstrative, except it is now that stun, ha huioi's a canas, it's in two positions, it's in two possible positions, right? Ha huioi's a canas, or a canas ha huioi's. And those sons, of course, is just the plural. Hoi huioi, a canoi, or a canoi, hoi huioi. The far demonstrative pronoun. Again, we have a standard 2 1 2 declension. There is absolutely nothing to learn except that this pronoun begins with a cane. And then it has 2 1 2 endings added to it. But there's nothing different. The singular masculine ending is uh, Omicron Sigma, Akenas, and Akenas, then we have just standard, second declension. Feminine is the same as a definite article, Akene, then Ada for the ending. First declension, Ada endings all the way down. And the neuter has an ending. One of the endings we have is Omicron, which is the ending of the neuter. And it is consistent all the way to. So all you have to do is learn this as an adjective. Akenas, akene, akena. That's it. And once again, it functions as an adjective in the predicative position. Pronoun sentences. All we have to do is take the same sentences and akane is instead of hoot. Okay, so in this case, we have that is this sun, hutas. So we have kenas, that is hutas, this. That is this sun. A kene estin hemetermu. That is my mother. A kena tatekna esin agatha. Those children are good. Suaute edoken moi ekena, and in this case, we're be using it as an adjective, right? You yourself, suaute. Remember the intensive we had? That third declension personal pronoun could use, could intensify a word or a pronoun if it followed directly after it. So we have su aute, you yourself, gave that thing ekena to me. He may tear edoken boy tain oikion ekenein. This mother gave me that ekenein is in the predicative and it is functioning as an adjective for house. Gave me that house. I'm going to show you the relationship between the pronouns that we've talked about so far, the personal, the near demonstrative, and the far demonstrative, to show you how close they are and how really little there is to learn any way new knowledge that we have. So let's look at the personal pronoun first. And third person, personal, near demonstrative, and far demonstrative pronouns all have the same ending. Right? 2-1-2 two, two declension. So the personal pronoun is going to have a standard 
two, one, two to clench. Now, what I'm going to do is only show the masculine here. So uh, not to be confused, this is personal masculine, near demonstrative masculine, and far demonstrative masculine. I'm just showing you any changes that they should stand out. So the personal pronoun begins with out, right? Smooth breathing, out. Get out, okay? Uh, alpha, Upsilon, Tau, and they all do all the way down. There's no changes here. It's always out, and all it's going to do, we're going to change the endings. And the endings are standard 212 declensions. Autos, auto, auto, aton. Autoi, auton. Autois, autus. Okay? Now, the near demonstrative is out, O U T. And it must begin either with smooth breathing or a towel. But you'll notice all the endings are identical to the personal. So the only difference is what the beginning is. So it must begin with either rough breathing and an accent. And that is going to be in the nominative singular and plural. And, the plural. and everything else is a towel. Okay, this is just like your definite article. The far demonstrative merely begins with a cane, and the endings are 212 all the way down. Okay, so this is why I say learn these as pronouns. Learn the pronoun autos, aute, auta, near demonstrative, hutas, haute. Tuta, far demonstrative, akenas, akene, akena. Now we're going to go through the vocabulary. I'm no longer doing cards. We're far enough along now that we can do it on one screen. The other thing it is, it's taking so much space up to save it. So let's go ahead. Gune. 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 Gune is an unusual form. If you look at the genitive right next to it, you'll see gune kas. Gune looks like it should be a standard first declension, and it is feminine, but the genitive tells us that the stem of this word is gunaik. So this is one we've got to know the stem to know how to get there. So the stem of it is gunaikas. This is woman or wife. Tikayosune. 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 This is first declension, feminine righteousness. Dodeka. 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 Dodeka is twelve. The twelve apostles are known as the Dodeka. Heiau Tu. Heiau Tu. Heiau Tu. This is a reflexive word and it is in the genitive. Heiau Tu, Ace, U. Singular means himself, herself. Themselves is the plural. Literally, it means of himself and the plural of themselves. Ekenas. 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 This is Ekenas, Ekene, Ekena. This is the far demonstrative that you've been looking at. Singular is that and plural is those. A. 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 Note, smooth breathing. If this were hey, it would be the definite feminine article. A means or. Kago. 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 And kago is 
a word that is called crisis. That is, two words have come together and smashed in together. The most common words are chi and anything that begins with a vowel. And this is chi ego or and I. Chi ego and I but I. Makarias. 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 Okay. Two one two declension. Blessed or happy. Megas. Megale. Mega. This is a standard 212 declension after the nominative. The three forms are given to you because they're different in the nominative singular. After that, we get a standard uh, uh, ending, so we get, and they're different stems. So the stem here is, is mega, and then megal, and mega again. So we get large or great. Polis. 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 This is a word that has a lot of derivatives in English. The cognates are many. Uh, police, polity, politicians. Polis is city. This is the third declension. Okay. Continental Yoda. Polis. Eos. Paleos. And it is feminine. Palus, pale, palu. Just as megas, megale, mega, this is a standard 212 declension. It's just that the stems are different. The first stem has a, one lambda. The stem for the first declension has two lambdas all the way down. In either case, singular means much, plural means many, and if it's used as an advert, it means often. Posts. 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 Posts is the beginning of a question, specifically meaning how. And if you see posts coming at the beginning of the sentence, look for a question mark in the form of a semicolon at the end of the sentence. Semeon. 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 Semeon is a second declension and it is neuter. And this is a sign or miracle with the emphasis on sign. Okay, we're beginning the last form of pronoun that we're going to go through. This is chapter 14, the relative pronoun. The English relative pronoun. The words who, which, and what in English are relative pronouns when they are used to introduce a relative clause. The woman who loves the man lives here. The sentence is composed of the main and independent clause in purple, the woman lives here, and a relative dependent clause, who loves the man which begins with a relative pronoun, who. The relative pronoun in this case, who, refers back to a noun or pronoun in the main clause, which is referred to as its antecedent. The antecedent for the relative pronoun in the above sentence, who, is woman. An easy way to think of relative clauses is to make both the independent and the relative clauses into different senses. So the purple we could turn into the woman lives here. The relative we're going to turn into who loves the man, she loves the man. So the woman loves the man, the woman lives here, she loves the man. A Greek relative pronoun. 
in Greek, the relationships are much easier to see than in English because the relative pronoun must agree with its antecedent in number and gender, but not necessarily in case, right? A word is going to have gender built in. Number is always has to do with the number of the there. But the way it functions in a sentence may differ between the way it functions in a relative clause and the way it functions in the main clause. So, we have he gune he agapa tan anthropan katoike hade. So, the woman who, relative pronoun here, loves the man, lives here. In this case, we would look at it and we would say, who is in the nominative singular? And in Greek, we would see it's in the feminine. So we would know that that referred back to woman in the main clause. Same way, hegune hein anthropas agapa ketoike hade, the woman whom the man loves lives here. Ein, that being the ending of the definite article, for first declension feminine refers back to gune, but you can see here that ain is in the accusative and gune is in the nominative. Okay, once again, we're in a 212 declension for the relative pronoun, which means all of the endings will be identical to the other endings that we've had today. The nominative singular masculine is has, and except for this, except for has, all of the other endings are identical to the endings that you have for the definite article. This is the correct ending for a 212, but you remember the definite article is ha, he, ta, ha masculine, he feminine, ta neuter. So the masculine is ha rather than has. But if you remember that, then this is the amazing thing. The relative pronoun is the ending to the definite article all the way through with the addition of rough breathing and an accent. So if you took away the tau from the, the uh, definite article, you would see that the ending is going to be the relative pronoun. So we have has, who, who agreeing here in the genitive, uh, a masculine and neuter as we expect. Ho, ho. Han, ha. Hoi, masculine. Ha, neuter. Right? This is the ending. Alpha is always the ending neuter. But now, with, with this rough breathing and an accent, it is actually a pronoun. So, one of the ways you want to think about this is there is something. We have the ending with an H in front of it. Okay, so we have hon. We know hon because hon has been our friend for a long time now. Hois and hus, masculine. And then the feminine is standard, he, heis, he, hein, hai, hon, heis, has. So, the relative pronoun is your definite article, take off the tau if it has one, put rough breathing on it. The only one that differs is the masculine singular nominative, and you have to remember that the definite article doesn't have a sigma, but the relative pronoun does. Or the other way you can think of it, this is standard endings to the 212 declension. Relative pronoun sentences. Now what I've done here is I have personal green, blue is near demonstrative, red is far demonstrative, and now purple is relative. 
So, Akena says that Hachuyas has eblepsan se. So, we want to see by looking at this which one is the main uh, clause and which one is the relative one. And I've underlined the relative one. So, the main sentence is that is the son. And then we have a relative pronoun, relative clause, who saw you. So, we look at this relative pronoun and we want to find out what it is. It is nominative. Nominative, and that tells us how it's functioning in, in the clause. It's the subject of the clause. And then we look and say it's also masculine singular. And that we look back in the main clause and say, what is in the main clause matches masculine singular? So, the only word back there that does is huias. So, huias is the antecedent for has, and we get that is the son who saw you, who is the subject of this clause, who saw you. That is the my mother, Hain, and this is an accusative, right? And an accusative means that in the relative clause, this is the object of the verb. And we also know that it's feminine and singular, and we know that it has to point to mater. So that's the antecedent in the sentence. So we would say, that is my mother whom I love, right? That is my, lo that is my mother, I love her. Tatekna ha su agapas estin agatha. Tatekna, plural, that ending... All you have to do is look at the definite article. Its ending is a ha. Here's our relative pronoun, ha. It is accusative. And it's neuter plural. So it's pointing back to tatekna. And we get the children that you love are good. Now, one of the things I want to point out in this sentence is you'll see I have tatekna, which is the subject of the main clause, and the verb is estin. That is a singular verb. And I translate it, the ch children that you love are good. Okay, the rule in Greek is that neuter nouns that are in the plural take singular Verbs. Now, that's not as important to you right now, but in the future, it's going to be a very important thing. Ego agapo tan huion ho aute edoken ekena tadoron. Okay, this time, if we look at the relative clause, we see that it begins with a word that's in the dative. Remember, the relative uh, pronoun can be in any case it's taking the place of a noun or pronoun. So it has to be in any case. Okay, So it's in the dative, and it's either neuter or masculine, right? Because neuter and masculine, singular. This is, we know it's singular because of the Yoda subscript. They, they have the same ending. So the only word it can point back to that is masculine or neuter will be tanhuion, this is the dative, and it's going to be per passing back to its antecedent, tanhuion. So, we get, I love the son to whom, dative, she gave that gift. Aute he estin hagia agapat. Ton theon. The main clause is aute agapaton theon. She loves God. And the relative clause begins with this relative pronoun, he, 
It's in the nominative, and it's feminine singular, so it has to point back to our te, which is the antecedent, and since it's nominative, it's functioning as the subject of the relative clause, and we get she who is holy loves God. Okay, we're getting down to the finish line here. Uh, this is vocabulary, chapter 14. Aletheia. 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 First declension, feminine, truth. Erene. 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 First declension, feminine, peace. Enopion. 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 Preposition with the genitive meaning before. Epangalia. 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 First declension, feminine, promise. Hepta, hepta, hepta. Rough breathing, seven. Thranas, thranas, thranas. Second declension, masculine, throne. Jerusalem, Jerusalem. Jerusalem, feminine, Jerusalem. Kata, kata, kata. Kata is, loses its vowel before a vowel with smooth breathing and changes to kath before a vowel with rough breathing. It is in preposition. Accusative is according to, throughout, during. And then kata with the genitive is down from, against. Kepale. 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 First declension, feminine, head. Hadas. 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 Beware, this is one of the rare second declension and it is feminine. The declension is a standard second declension, but it is a feminine noun. Way, road, journey, conduct. Has, he, ha. Has, he, ha. Who or which? Hate. 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 When? Hutos. 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 Thus, so in this manner. Ployon. 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 Second declension, neuter, a boat. Rema. 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 This is a third declension, mot stem, rematas which means it is neuter, and it means word or saying. Te. 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 Te is a weakened form of and or so. Care. 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 Care is hand, arm, or finger. It is a third declension, 
feminine. Psuche. 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 This is a first declension feminine soul life self. 